Hey guys, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be on my little, you know, Bill Nye, the science guy, girl, you guys know what I mean, type of vibe. Um, You might be looking at the title like, what is going on? And I feel like the easiest way to explain what I'm doing today. So uh, if you have a large makeup collection or if you try a lot of products, especially for the internet, I feel like you've found yourself saying before, you know, like, this foundation does this and that's great, but this foundation does this that that one doesn't. So if I found one foundation that had both of them combined, it'd be like my perfect product. So I saw this on Amazon and I was like, why not try mixing some of the things that make some of my setting powders my favorite setting powders into one and seeing if that gives me my holy grail setting powder. So that's what we're going to do today. Fingers crossed that this works out how I have it planned in my mind. If you guys wanna see that, then just stay tuned. Okay, so I have here what I would say are my top five favorite setting powders. I'm gonna tell you why each one is as I dip it into the little container that I've got here. So the first one is the Fenty Pro Filter in the shade Banana. I like this one because I feel like this is the like the one where if you don't want your face to move you're not trying to be oily at the end of the day like this is the one you would break out for that um it's it's a mattifying powder i actually can't use this with the well i mean i could but you got to be careful how you use it with the pro filter foundation because you guys know that's a matte foundation people talk about how it's a drying one so <laughs> If you don't want that, you probably wouldn't want to wear those two together, but using this the right way, you can use it on your face so that it is a good oil control type of powder. I spilled powder everywhere. Um, but yeah, that's when I would break this powder out is when I really need a like mattifying, it's gonna keep my face in, in line all day type of powder. The next one is the La Mer The Powder powder. It's only one shade, right? Um, this is like that that go-to airbrush flawless, just like that filter type of powder. Um, it's, it's La Mer, so you know we're not going to dump that much into the container. But um, it's it's one of the softest powders I've ever tried. And again, it just gives you that like air. Ooh, okay, that was a little. Okay, we could, we could. Okay, okay. Um, airbrush. You guys. I really lost the sentence that I was saying, if you guys know what I mean. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in the shade two. I think like last year, maybe the year before that, they finally put out like a deeper shade for the Secret Brightening Powder. And it's one of my favorite powders because it does give you that, you know, brightened under eye look without making your under eye look like, you know, like flashing or beaming headlights. So gonna dump a little bit of this into there. I'm gonna do like an even amount of each. The next two are going to be a pain to get out of the containers. This is the Huda, what is this called? Huda Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Cinnabon. Um, this I feel like it would be the closest one I would say to the La Mer powder, but obviously this one is a colored, ooh, colored powder. And I wouldn't say it's, I like it because it gives like an airbrush like the La Mer does. I feel like I like this one because it gives the best like, just natural finish to your face. You know, it's not like overly mattifying. It's not, you know, it still does something for your face, but I feel like it just gives you like the best like natural finish. So I'm gonna dump this. And if you know me, then you know the last one is the Pat McGrath Blurring Powder. Not exactly sure how I'm going to get this into the container because it's a, uh, it's a compact powder and it's, it's Pat McGrath, all right? You see how small this is? You see, this is like 30 something dollars. So we're not trying to uh, scrape off too much there. Let's just... Okay, child, that's, that's, that's enough. Um, but I like this one because think of every blurring powder that you've heard of, that you've tried before, this is it, all right? She really gives you that blur to your face. So that is what I highly recommend it. Actually, it's probably the one thing I would recommend most from um, everything that Pat McGrath sells. So let me put the little ooh, in, okay. Where's the lid? Okay, and shake it on up. Okay, so let me go ahead and do my base.
Okay, so going to set my face. And now let me finish up the rest of my face. And now to wipe the powder away, which I feel like wiping away from me is kind of more so like pushing it in as opposed to, you know, And I'm just gonna throw on mascara today. I like the finish of it on the face. I'm gonna wear it for a while and see how it looks. So it is 104, I'm gonna go check back in later, um, just a couple hours, see how it goes. Um, see if it's just like a it looks nice, you know all together, but can I really wear it? That's what we're gonna find out. So I'll see you guys soon Okay, so I am back it is 603. This is my face looking like So I'm oily on my chin and I feel like you know, I'm starting to get oily in my t-zone area. However, I am not mad at how my face looks. I did a quick little blotty poo here not that much transfer and once you once well once i <laughs> blot my face listen this might be on something here might have to keep on using this little concoction that i came up with you know maybe tweak a little bit maybe if you guys want to see me continue doing this i was thinking you know i could try it with makes my favorite concealers, my favorite primers, my favorite foundations, and then like one video trying all of the things that I come up with. But I could also do like other videos where like I tweak things, you know, give things like a second round, maybe add a little less brightening powder and a little more of the Fenty powder if I feel like it's not as matte of a face as I would need it to be. But like I said, when I left for the day, I liked the finish of this. Now that I, what time did I leave? Like one? Now it's been five hours. I like the wear of it too. I'm not mad at how my face is looking. Um, what things do you consider? Oh, let me try. Let me try a flash test. I'll insert that here because flash setting powders that matters. If if what I came up with causes flash, then it's a no for me, dog, on that one. Um, creasing. Besides, you know, like this this crease that's always going to happen there. I feel like. I feel like this passed the test that it that it needed to pass. I, I am liking how the, these powders together look on my face. We might be onto something. I was looking at my other powders like, are there any other ones I'd wanna add into the mix? But I think leaving it at five is good for now. But again, maybe I could do a different one where I try different powders and see how those look mixed together. But again, I really like the ones that I tried in today's video. So is there anything else? to mention yeah i feel like that's pretty much it let me know how you guys feel the powder looked and wore throughout the day um if you suggest any ones that i should maybe take out because if you guys don't know i have combo oily skin oily in my t-zone uh or uh, normal everywhere else in my face so maybe you heard one that you think you know if i took out of the mix it would do a little bit better but i like this I, I like I like the idea of this. So also let me know if you guys want me to do the other ones that I mentioned, like the concealer, the primers, all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So I hope you know it was interesting seeing me try this out today. Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.